didn't you see this your future is different if your youth is renewed the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraw thanks for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us I believe in youth renewal and what I mean by that is the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today when you learn to know who he is and walk with him mm -hmm. he renews your youth this is something he does your physical body becoming younger now this is a non-standard belief not everybody believes this and as such there are some people who would say that you're part of a cult remember I went on this last week now the trade-off here would be youth renewal and living longer and having a better life or someone calling you part of a cult which is the trade-off it doesn't even look like much of a trade-off to me right <laughs> who cares what they call you Amen. but the basic idea is that those who don't believe what you believe often are prone to calling you in some type of a strange cult because it's a non-standard belief to them the etymology of the word cult it comes from the Latin and it's where we get the word culture from or cultivate well I'm attempting to cultivate in you tonight youth renewal is that okay Isaiah chapter 7 verse 9 if you will not believe surely you shall not be established now a lot of translations would say unless you believe you will not understand the belief comes first and then the understanding right, right. if you don't believe you will not understand sounds pretty cult like to me does it not yeah. right here you have to believe something before you can understand it <laughs> yeah. if you don't believe you won't understand if you don't believe you won't be established if you don't believe you will not see and I'm talking about youth renewal yeah. well I believe in youth renewal I've seen youth renewal in the scriptures say in the scriptures, in the scriptures and then because of my belief in it I begin to understand it I begin to be established in it and I begin to see it mm -hmm. see it where in my life mm -hmm. and in the lives of those around me who begin to believe it mm -hmm. and to that I say welcome to the cult of youth renewal mm -hmm. we're culturing youth renewal proverbs chapter 9 let's look at verse 10 the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the holy is understanding mm. now fear i've been over this many times fear is often translated as what worship. worship the worship of the lord is the beginning of something so you can't go to step number two you can't go to step number three if you didn't start with worshiping the Lord why do you talk about worshiping the Holy Ghost so much because it's the beginning of so many things here it says the worship of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and and knowledge of the Holy is understanding the Holy what the Holy One in fact most other translations besides the King James say it that way mm -hmm. the Holy One well who is the Holy One mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost it's his first name mm -hmm. so worship of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom knowledge of the Holy One is understanding do you get to the knowledge of the Holy One without worshiping the Holy One no, no. verse 11 so we're gonna worship the Holy Ghost 
and then we're gonna have knowledge of the Holy Ghost and understanding verse 11 for by me say by me by, me. by who by the Holy One right verse 11 for by me say by me, by me. thy days shall be multiplied and the years of thy life shall be increased is this something he does it said by him mm -hmm. can we settle that yes. this is something he does mm -hmm. say this, this is something, is something. He, does. he does so if i get my part right he'll do his part because that's just something he does right fear of the lord is the beginning of this wisdom and knowledge of the holy one is understanding understanding of him doing this multiplying your days mm -hmm. and increasing the years of your life are you here mm -hmm. so we can see the pattern here when you worship him you get knowledge of him and part of the knowledge of him is that he is a god who renews your youth and extends your life and multiplies your days should i if i do verse 10 end up in verse 11 yes. scripturally yes. if i do ver say if i do verse 10, I, do verse 10 I, end in, I end up in verse 11. verse 11. the worship of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the holy one is understanding i'm worshiping him i'm getting knowledge of the holy ghost and understanding that he is somebody who renews my youth mm -hmm. so do any of these things sound optional we could opt to not mm -hmm. fear the lord or worship the lord we could opt to not get knowledge of the holy one who is the holy ghost mm -hmm. do these things sound optional they're not optional I'm here to tell you these things are not optional worshiping him the Holy Ghost having knowledge of him personally not optional having your youth renewed is not optional if you want to please God you want to walk with God you must have your youth renewed get that straight your future listen your future is different for you if you worship the Holy Ghost if you have knowledge of the Holy Ghost and if you have your youth renewed can you see this mm -hmm. your future is different if your youth is renewed than if your youth is not renewed days and years multiplied and increased mm -hmm. here's your life and here's days in life days and years of your life increased and multiplied do you get over here without having them multiplied and increased no. so you never got to that portion of your life what would that be that's the future say the future, the future. say I'm going, I'm going to the future you can't go to that future unless you have this not optional say it's not optional, it's not optional. I own the future in order to go to the future you must have certain things healing health and youth renewal psalms 115 verse 17 says the dead praise not the lord if you're dead you didn't go to the future if you're dead game over am i wrong is this too difficult so to go to the future healing is not optional right mm -hmm. you can't be dead it's the first qualification <laughs> say the number one qualification the number one qualification for me going to the future for me going to the future is i can't be dead, I can't be dead. <laughs> i'm trying to make this as simple as possible <laughs> what about health is it important to have health to go to the future yes. unless you're gonna limp into it you want to limp into the future no, no you want to jump into it Amen. we're gonna own it 
but in order to own it you must have healing and you must have health and be living in it mm -hmm. and according to what we've already read you must have youth renewal working in your life to have more future and you won't see it you won't understand it and you won't be established in it if you don't first believe it so healing health and youth renewal youth renewal is not a suggestion it's not optional it's required it is a future necessity can you see this yeah. and I'm putting a new spin on mandatory health care mm -hmm. it's mandatory if you're gonna walk with God the Holy Ghost why do you think he brought it up like that you worship me you get knowledge of me youth renewal and youth renewal is not so that you can relive the past I just wish it could be like it was yesterday and yesteryears I wish it could be like that youth renewal is not so that you can relive the past you've already done that mm -hmm. this is new say this is new this is my youth is renewed to go to a new future mm -hmm. in a new way in a new capacity a new future one that never existed before even potentially a new body of work expanded possibilities I own the future you got to get this the future is me healed living in divine health and youth renewed I call it that way I see it that way and I say it that way every cell every organ every tissue of my body completely healed completely restored functioning perfectly and youth renewed that's you in the future and I'm pretty sure that you do not understand yet I'm trying to take you there how important this is to the Holy Ghost himself if you would meditate on that verse of Scripture we read you would see that he puts it right there it's right up front it's something he does he would say to you I am very young he owns youth renewal he what is he gonna do with it keep it in a cupboard somewhere and never use it no he is it that's how when you get to know him and know who he is and understand him this comes on you say this comes on me, this comes on me. and then you begin to walk in it just like he does he's very young let's read it again Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom knowledge of the Holy One is understanding the result of that is by me the Holy One the Lord thy days shall be multiplied and the years of thy life shall be increased so your future is in youth renewal are you seeing this mm -hmm. But if you make it optional you'll never go there you'll never get it the flesh is lazy you know this right you just let the flesh be it'll just bleh. you know what else is lazy religion religions lazy it'll only pick the lowest hanging fruit mm -hmm. that's all that's necessary you could just die and go to heaven where has religion camped on the most the lowest hanging piece of fruit but I am rewriting the future I hope you can hear this I'm rewriting the future my future yes but also the future of all of those who hear these words and will enter into this same place worshiping the Holy Ghost and walking with him the future is being rewritten for you 
not only that but the future of society the future government the future of economics oh are you really yes you just stay tuned but none of these things do you enter into until you enter into the future with the Holy Ghost quickening you renewing your youth what could you do if you had your youth renewed you have to think and see this way you have to believe it first first Timothy chapter 4 verse 7 but refuse profane and old wives fables old wives <laughs> old wives fables and exercise thyself rather unto godliness say exercise thyself, exercise thyself. verse 8 for bodily exercise profits little should say it profits a little you can understand that right if you exercise your physical body it will profit you mm -hmm. but godliness is profitable unto all things say all things mm -hmm. having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come well there already is a kind of cult or religion of physical health people trying to live longer but these people are worshiping a person that person just happens to be their own physical body and they go to the gym which is their temple and they go there on Sunday mornings and Wednesday evenings religiously say religiously, religiously. and they're cultivating their physical body and to some degree their their physical health because it profits them a little mm -hmm. my point is that it is a cult-like worship of a person but the person is themselves mm -hmm. however we worship another person his name is the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words and we worship him with the words I worship you Holy Ghost well he also has to live in a body mm -hmm. does he not yeah. what body does he get to live in why do you think one of the first things he does is talk to you about healing health and youth renewal and you are his temple mm -hmm. but you somehow think that healing health and youth renewal is optional you know what's optional then your future is optional but if you're going to go to the future you have to have certain things Psalms 107 verse 20 he sent his word he sent his word it's his personal word he sent his word before him before he moves into said temple he sent his personal word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions can you agree with me that death is a destruction yes he delivered them from their destructions the way to deliver somebody from that destruction is to renew their youth are you here yeah. You believe it then you understand it you believe it then you see it and almost all sickness leaves with youth renewal God renews your youth to before the sickness happened he returns to before it happened to the before time these are things he does are you here is it good to know this God is it good to be a part of this cultivation where you're being cultivated in worshiping him and knowing him yes. these are things he does Psalms 103 and verse 5 most of you can quote it forget not all of his benefits 
psalms 103 verse 1 bless the lord O my soul who doesn't bless the lord the dead remember we read that other verse of scripture who forgives all thine iniquities who heals all thy diseases who does that's what it says who who heals all thy diseases who redeems thy life from destructions crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed whose youth thy youth is renewed who does it does God do these things well if he doesn't he shouldn't have written it in here because someone is bound to believe it yeah. and what happens when you believe it you begin to understand it say I'm beginning, I'm beginning to, understand it. to understand it the future is yours proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom worshiping the holy ghost as god is the beginning of something and the knowledge of the holy one is understanding you worship him and you get some knowledge of him and some understanding of him which takes you to verse 11 for by him thy days shall be multiplied and by him the years of thy life shall be increased knowing him worshiping him and walking with him youth renewal becomes your purview you begin to own the future the future that you could not enter into before because you didn't know him in this way but now you're gaining understanding of the new day in the new way and shall walk with the living God on earth in ways that men of old could not know or understand you shall walk in the ways of youth renewal and shall own a new future thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people and that they've heard with their ears the word of the Lord this evening and great days stand ahead of them waiting for their entrance into them and we shall be established we shall understand and we shall know as we worship you holy ghost and walk with you by speaking in agreement with your word in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost you are wonderful i thank you for blessing me causing me to increase financially and in the number of my days in jesus name amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god in the earth to 